Hey guys, we are back with our seatbelt series brought to you as always by Rudis. So we've done three moves, all from our knees so far. That's where I personally like to finish my seatbelt series. So we were here. So now, what we're gonna start getting into is coming up to our feet. But before we get there, you guys have to realize that this guy, the seatbelt guy, not the wizard guy, dictates where we're at, whether we're on our knees or on our feet. And so, if, so stay there, Quentin. If I get up and Quentin doesn't get up, you guys see how easy this is to run, boom, I'm just gonna run him over. Jeez. So if, if I get up, he has to get up, okay? But if Quentin gets up, I don't have to get up, and actually there's a really easy finish from there. So let me show you guys. So if we're in here, we're tight, and Quentin tries to step up here, okay? All I gotta do with this backhand over here, which you guys can both see, is now pull hard on the hip. He's gonna have no balance, so Quentin freeze right there, don't move. Look, Quentin's got nothing to balance back here. So all I do is I bury my head, I yank my hip and elbow, boom, boom right there. Okay, and then, J and then Quentin will very quickly realize that he can't stand up. So we're gonna do from this direction also. So if you're gonna face that one. Yep, we're right here. And Quentin tries to step up. Boom, and I just drop that hip, he'll roll over to his belly, we'll be on top. Okay, and so we have to understand that before we go all the way up to our feet. So next week when we get in our seatbelt series, I'm gonna drive it up to my feet and then we'll work on our, uh, all of our finishes for our feet. But we have to know that one first. I dictate the position, this wizard did not dictate the position. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah.